All right, this is going to be a five minute video, hopefully not over five minutes. I want to take this special video to show you what we are about to lose here in Riverhead. These piney woods are going to be gone and knocked down for a super Walmart. That's right, despite the fact there's vacant land down the road there, where there are no woods, no, they want to build the Walmart here. All right, so let's go in these woods here. You can see this bear berry, pitch pines, these are pine barrens. Technically, I'm not allowed to go here, but these are going to be gone, so we got to show it to you. Lots of great shapes, as you can see. This is a pine barrens here. And this is where they want to build a Walmart. That's right. This is all going to be knocked down and leveled. Let me show you all the plants that are growing here. All right, we've got the reindeer lichen. Sickleaf golden aster, which has gone to seed. Lots of pitch pines. You can see all that reindeer lichen on the ground here. A lot of the paths are overgrown in here. Huckleberries. This is a classic Pine Barrens environment that should be preserved. Sadly, the Pine Barren Society is doing nothing about it, so that is why I am taking this video. Show you the beauty we are about to lose here. Got to walk to the huckleberry. These all these huckleberries are new. Don't worry about ticks. I got my permethrin treated pants on. I wanted to come here one last time to show you. We also have got the flat top goldenrod as well. And more reindeer lichen. Again, lots of reindeer lichen. If we look closely, there may be other kinds. Oh, yeah. There's British soldier and pixie cups. Let me zoom in. All right. See, we've got the British soldier lichen here. You see the little red dots there? You can see that. And we also got pixie cup lichen. And, of course, the reindeer lichen. All native plants of the Pine Barrens. This is definitely a Pine Barrens environment that should be being preserved. That is not. But the Pine Barrens Society has not taken any interest in preserving this land, despite me contacting them. And no one else seems to be interested in saving this land, so that's why we're taking this video. It is a shame that we will be losing this. It is a crying shame that we will be losing this. But that is why I'm doing this video to show you and to spend one last time here before this is gone. Look at the beautiful Pine Barrens environment we have right across from uh, Tanger. This should have been preserved. They shouldn't be building a Walmart here. All right, a scrub oak. The town should have bought this land. The county should have bought this land and preserved it. But sadly, nobody seems to be interested. Except me, of course. But that's why I'm taking this video. All right, let's get over to that trail over there. Now we got this unusual plant here, which I'm not sure what it is at all. Oh, here's the sickle leaf golden aster that's kind of on its way out. It is almost the end of September, so you will see that uh, starting to disappear here. And here you go. Look at all these great shapes. I know the sky isn't too great today, but uh, we got a lot of great shapes here. A lot of pitch pines. These are classic pine barrens over here. Well, look at this golden rod. Hold on a minute. Is this that elusive wand style? I think we may have found it. Now, this is rare. Now, wand style goldenrod is rare. I, I think this might be it. Now, hopefully we can find some rare plants here. And that, this video, will hopefully stop the Walmart. Alright, you got to join me in the fight, alright? This is wand style goldenrod. I'm almost positive of it. This is a rare kind of goldenrod, alright? Um, and, uh... Not common at all in the Pine Barrens. It's not really common, and this is a rare plant, all right? And they want to knock this all down to put a Walmart here, all right? I'm so glad I'm doing this video for you all. You've got to get involved, all right? This, this Walmart has to be stopped. It cannot be built here. We cannot tear this beautiful wilderness down here. We've got to protect this. Where the hell is Dick Amper? Where the heck are you, Dick Amper? See, I call him out. I'm not afraid to call him out because he's, he, like, ignores a lot of these issues. We also have got uh, the uh, joint weed, another common plant in the Pine Barrens as well. That's more common, but the, uh, the goldenrod, that was rare, all right? Uh, that was rare. I've never seen that, that wand style goldenrod. I've seen pictures of it. I'm almost positive that is it. I'm sending my friend Barry a picture of that. 
We've got to put a stop to this Walmart. This Walmart is not going to be built here. I'm hella high water. We are going to stop it. All right. This video will be on YouTube. All right. We're putting this on YouTube because it's important that the masses see what we are going to lose here in a matter of weeks, possibly, that they will be clearing this and this will all be gone. I thought I saw an Indian pipe that was kind of wilting away there. And it's a shame we're going to lose all these great shapes, too. Look at these shapes here, man. We're going to lose all this, man. Oh, man, look. We've got a box turtle. See, this is another, this is what I mean, box turtle. This is his habitat, man. And we're going to, remo we're going to remove his habitat. That's terrible. I am so glad I'm doing this video. Folks, Pine Barren Society, this is going on your Facebook. You better freaking do something. He is going to lose his habitat. Folks, he is going to lose his habitat because they want to build a Walmart here. This Walmart is not going to be built here. All right? It's not going to happen. I think we should need to get a whole bunch of people together, maybe 100, 200 people, chain ourselves to the trees and stop this kind of stuff from develop this development. <sighs> Problem is I can't afford to be arrested, and you know that's what they're going to do. But something has to be done to save this place. These woods are beautiful. I mean, look at these great shapes, too. But... I tell you that we've seen already two rare things here all right so there you go folks i'm going to show i want to head back over to the road and show you the frontage um but you can see we will be losing all these pines rare plants this poor box turtle is going to lose his habitat here um because they want to build a walmart they don't care about the box turtles nobody cares about the environment here not dick amper not no one all right like I said, I called out Dick Amper, I will call him out again. Alright, um, but this, this needs to go up on YouTube for everyone to see. Alright, share this video with your friends. Sean Walter, you're going to be getting a call from me and a letter. Alright, uh, this, this, we cannot be building a Walmart here. Alright, that's the bottom line. Alright, this is the last large piece of open space here along Route 58. That's Pine Barrens and it needs to be protected. Take a look at this unusual mushroom, too. Oh, what a shame. What a shame we are going to lose this. And I believe box turtles are considered rare. So, seeing the box turtle here, um, definitely. And just to prove to you that the box turtle is here once again, we will walk up to it. Uh, just to show you that it's here. Alright. Um, Dick Amper, you better freaking return my phone call. I want to speak to him personally about this. Alright. It's supposed to be the Pine Barrens, Spidey. You're supposed to be protecting the Pine Barrens. Where are you? Where are you? You've let this little guy down. You've let all of us down. So, I'm going to put the phone numbers up in this video for you to contact various public officials. You know, uh, the Pinelands Commission. This is definitely Juan Golden, Juan Stahl Goldenrod. Almost positive. Barry, I, I'm pretty sure this is Juan style. It's rare, all right? It's a rare plant, all right? It's not, it's not a common plant. I've never seen it before here on Long Island. It's the first time I've seen it. All right, so this has got a lot of rare, because this has been left undisturbed. It's been left in its natural state for a very long time. These are pine barrens. This is the most perfect example of the kind of pine barrens that need to be saved, and no one is stepping up to the plate and doing anything about it. And it's just frustrating me, and that's why I'm on here doing this. All right, doesn't mean I'm going to be doing vlogs or anything like that, but this is one environmental issue that needs to get out, all right? We must save this land. We must. We don't have an option of losing this land, because we lose this land, we lose a, a chunk of the Long Island pine barrens. And Dick Amper, who's always on TV, bragging about how much he's saved, this is a perfect example. All right, I've posted stuff on his Facebook. I've written him about this land. He's never gotten back to me. Because the future looks very grim for this land, unless we step up to the plate and do something to save it. All right, and I think it needs to be preserved by the town. God knows you've got Tanger bringing in so much tax revenue. I mean, use that some of that to preserve this. We don't need another store here. And here's more wand like goldenrod. I think that might be wand like goldenrod. Sure looks like it, doesn't it? I'm gonna take another picture. Here's some more wand like goldenrod. I'm just shaking with anger right now. We've got to protect this land. We cannot let the pine barrens down. 
And for all you out there who think this is an importance, let me tell you something, all right? Our drinking water here on Long Island is getting very polluted because of all the overdevelopment, all right? And this is an area where it's very important because the, when it rains, the drinking water seeps down through here. We get rid of this and pave this over with a Walmart. We're putting all kinds of toxins in here. Petroleum, all kinds of stuff is going to go in here. All right? Petroleum, pesticides, all kinds of chemicals and stuff. And then we're going to be drinking that. So how smart is it to be putting a Walmart here? It's not very smart at all. Walmart must be stopped here, all right? It must be. How the hell this got passed into the Riverhead, how this got passed in environmental review, I have no idea. I have no idea at all, but certainly it is, would be a detrimental to the environment to have a Walmart here. And I'm showing you that right now. Here's more wine like goldenrod. I'm pretty sure this is it. It is a little hot today and I'm getting a little excited and overheated here. A little sick, but it makes me sick to think this is all going to be gone. It really does. And just to show you, I'm not making this up. Here's the zoning permit right there. Let's read it and weep. The permit basically gives them the right to clear the land. It's released September 10th, 2012. And this is the building permits coordinator. This should not be built. It never should have been. This idea never should have been. All right. If they had any environmentalists down here on this site, they would have said, you cannot build here. All right? And I just feel sick. I feel sick. I want to throw up. You know how long these woods have been here for? Do you know how long these woods have been here for? I don't know why the sign was knocked down, but I put it back up so everybody can see what they're doing here. It's unbelievable. It's on freaking believable. God, it's so warm today, too. Look, let me just show you one other thing, and then we're going to wrap up this video. All right, so this is the front part of it. Uh, this will all be gone. All these trees will be gone, and you'll be looking at another parking lot. Uh, we've got the more common plume-style goldenrod. There's one more plant I want to show you here. And actually, you can see a whole bunch of it growing. And this is stiff-leaved aster, another classic Pine Barrens plant that will be destroyed when they build the Walmart and pave this all over. See, these, are, these have beautiful flowers, and this will all be gone too. So, I can't talk anymore. I can't even look at this because I feel like I want to vomit, knowing that this will be gone. And you should feel just as upset as I am. Please, please contact the people. They are, all the people listed are in the description of this video, all right? We'll have the Riverhead Town Supervisor. We'll have the, the, Pine, the Pine Barrens Commission, New York State Pine Barrens Commission. Uh, we have several environmental organizations, such as the Citizens Campaign, the Pine Barrens Society, and media outlets. Give them hell, folks. We must stop this Walmart. Thanks for watching. And one more thing. Dick Amper. If you give a damn about the Pine Barrens and call yourself the Pine Barrens Society, you will be on TV here helping me protect these woods. Otherwise, you're just a phony. Take it easy, folks.